Since HTC Vive came out, the only thing that people have been complaining about is the price of it. Which in itself is $900, which is pretty expensive to begin with. Which I'm gonna have to pay off for a couple of months, but... One other problem that people have is that you need a really strong PC to play it, which is actually not true. As you can see, I'm running, um... Let me just put this on. On my computer, I have a GTX 760, which is a pretty low-tier card right now. You can get it for like 100 bucks. And I have an Intel Core i7-479K CPU, but even though that is a pretty good CPU, the main thing that's gonna that's gonna require for you to play the games is gonna be your GPU, which I have pretty low, but I overclocked it to these settings. So if you own a GTX 760, you can also overclock it. But the problem I have with it is that when you try the Steam VR performance test, let me just open that up. When you try to open the open the performance test, what the performance test looks for is that for you to be able to be able to get 90 FPS, which is gonna be your smooth experience. And things that even if your computer gets that, but you don't have the GPU that they require you to have, like a GTX 970. And they tell you that it failed, which is not true. So let me just let's have this test run right now. As you can see, I'm getting 100 FPS on it, which is over what it's asking for you to do, because you need only 90 FPS to have a smooth experience. And to be honest, even if you get, I'll say over like 40 FPS, it's still very playable. Okay, as you can see, even though I get over 90 FPS for most of it, it tells me that I'm not ready to play any VR games, apparently. Quality... Tell me that half of the FPS were below 90, which I don't think is even true. I think they were just bullshitting me. All right, so now in so let's now try some real game te testing, okay? As you can see, I'm streaming Job Simulator here, and I'm getting around 80 FPS. It's going from 70 to 90 FPS, which is very playable. Like as long as you have over 60 FPS, it's perfectly fine, and you'll get a smooth experience. This is another free game called The Rec Room, and this game, even though I couldn't see how much frame rate I was getting, it, it felt butter smooth, so I'm gonna assume it was 90 FPS. But this game is an online only game, so while you're connected to other players, the game was still running perfectly fine. Uh, this is a game called Spellfighter VR, and if you like Skyrim, you're gonna love this. But this is an I guess kind of open world linear type of game and even on a game like this that is more like a real game I was still getting I'll say around over 60 FPS and the game was running perfectly smooth so even for a game like this you can play it fine the only game that I had a problem running was the project cars as you can see I'm getting 30 FPS on the game which is surprisingly still playable but when you have the headset on, you can see that it's choppy, which which doesn't actually give you motion sickness, but you, it, it just doesn't feel like a smooth experience. So as you can see, you can play most of the games on HTC Vive that are out right now. The only games that give you problems are are AAA games that start adding the HTC Vive support into them, like Project Cars. And once you know games like Fallout 4 and Doom at HTC Vive support them, you're not going to be able to play them on a low GPU, really. But if you're thinking of buying an HTC Vive, but you don't have the money to buy a new GPU, then you can still get the HTC Vive and just play some of the games. And with the other games, you can just wait till you get a new graphics card. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe, and see you guys later. Hey there, thanks for watching my video. If you want to see more videos, then click here. And if you want to see my gaming show, then click here. And you can see some amazing videos here. <laughs>
And if you don't click anywhere, they're gonna have a bad time.